Hello and welcome in. Today I'm going to be making a full young in a big pan. I'm going to put just enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan and then a little bit more like a centimeter higher than that just to make sure that it doesn't um, stick to the middle of the pan because this is all going to be it's going to be all in one it's going to be one big Brazilian butt one big Brazilian butt lift um, egg foo young so for the newcomers if you wonder why I talk slow when I'm doing my videos it's because when I start doing my videos my mind goes out to lunch and I can't think as quickly and it's also known as nervousness so I get nervous I'll put a little bit more so because of the pan being slightly uneven, even though it looks flat, it's slightly uneven. So I'm going to put a little bit more oil in there. Hopefully, my theory is that um, the egg won't stick in there. But I don't want to put enough in there to deep fry it because that, that, that makes me nervous too. I don't like all that grease. So, what did I do with that spoon? So while that's heating up, I'm going to be stirring up my ingredients and then I'm going to tell you what all I put in there. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys the slurry because my slurry is thicker today than it ever was before. Okay, so here's my slurry. And I'm going to pour it slowly. See how thick that is? Can you tell? And some of it is kind of like stuck in the bottom of the cup. I'm putting all that in there so the slurry can stick it together and hold it together. Move that pan over there and turn this down a little bit because um Ouch. Wait, let me turn that off <laughs> for a minute while I finish mixing this up, right? So I got my slurry and everything in there. Once I pour it in, I'm going to take everything that I put in my mix today. I'm trying to make it quick. Now, if you want to see my step-by-step -step recipe, you can go back to my Brazilian butt lift egg foo young part one and then part two so you can see step by step what i'm doing my ingredients differ a little bit today because i didn't have mushrooms before so you could put different things into your slurry i mean into your mixture okay so i'm gonna turn this back on put it on like medium low put my uh Put my pan back over there. Let it heat up again. It's going to be good. But the, the, uh, the challenge today is for me to cook this up. The, the flipping over is going to be the big challenge for me today, okay? So I got that hopefully nice and warm. Then I'm gonna pour this in there slowly. I hope we get a sizzle, but if we don't, then life goes on, okay? One, two, three, let's go. There's a very little sizzle in there. But my thing now is I realize that I don't need to cook the, I don't need to cook it fast. I just cook it slow. All right. 
so you can see everything that's oh looks like it's showing up nicely in the picture okay so now I'm going to be placing shrimp in here um, I guess I can use this spatula to kind of move this stuff around make it just a little bit more evenly distributed okay today is Sunday I think it's November 17th okay so make everything a little more evenly distributed now this part over here this has a, a an accumulation of oil in that corner over there and oddly enough this is the corner that is hotter than the rest for some strange reason I don't know why now I'm going to take my shrimp and I'm going to strategically place it all around the pan so that when I finish cooking this I'm going to slice it as though it was a pie and then I want each slice to have a shrimp in it. Not every bite, every slice. Okay? So if everything comes out, that looks like it needs, need, I need to do something with it. Never mind. Every slice needs to have a shrimp in it. So that's why I'm just placing these very very carefully all the way around in the uh, into the egg foo young mixture then I'm going to read to you all the ingredients that I put in here Ooh, I got a lot of shrimp in there today. So, um, shout out to my cousin, Lisa, from San Francisco. Because I've seen other people make these like this, but she told me that she did her. She used my recipe because she's a lucky star. And she said she used my recipe, my Brazilian butt, my Brazilian butt lift recipe. But she put it in... She just made it into a big, um, she made it into a big one instead of several. Okay, now, this shrimp right here, it still got some boo-boo in there. So, I'm going to clean that out. Can you see that? I saw it through. I might not be able to. Anyway, I saw it through the skin, so I said, nah, it's a little too big. Be just pretending I don't see it. So I gotta get that out of here. Then I'm gonna read to you the ingredients that I used today. And just dab that water off that shrimp right there and place it right there okay so I started off today with eight eight eggs and then one cracked on the counter so I had to scoop that up and I could barely get any of the white I just got the the yolk of it and put it in there and then the next one was very small and it looked like it was just kind of weird so I had to spoon it out of the bowl and sniff it to make sure it didn't have any stank on it so then I took to um, replace those two. I just put two more so it's a total of 10 eggs. <laughs> uh, when I say replace, I mean that I still use those other ones <laughs> because they passed the test, you know. Because the one, you know, it fell on the counter, but the counter was clean. It looked funky, but it didn't stink. But I still replaced both of those. So I got 10 eggs in there. All right. So the ingredients. What I had actually planned to do was to uh, stop the video and then come back when it's time to flip it. But I don't. I might be able to flip this without stopping the video. So anyway, let me tell you. I have green onion, 
mushrooms, chopped mushrooms, bean sprouts, red bell pepper, sesame oil, just a little bit, not even a full teaspoon, just a little bit, uh, white pepper, garlic powder, salt, not a lot of salt, just a little, onion powder, slurry, I showed you the slurry, which is, consists of water and the slurry consists of water and cornstarch mixed together. Cold water and cornstarch mixed together. So um, it was just very thick, thicker than ever before today. I used eggs and of course I had the shrimp and then I used a dash of crab and shrimp boil. I'm going to show you guys this. And I saw a video, crab and shrimp boil, this was liquid. This stuff is very potent. It made me sneeze today, it was so potent, but it smells powerful and it's very, very powerful in a way that is um, <clears throat> flavor spicy hot. Very, very potent. Not just to sniff, but with your flavor. So if you don't really like a lot of uh, hotness in your food, don't just pour. You got to use you a spoon to, to use that because it's going to it's going to knock you out if you're not careful. Trust me when I tell you that. So, uh what was I saying? I was saying something that I thought was important, but now I don't forgot what I was getting ready to say. But uh I think I'm going to turn this a little bit because remember I told you I, that's getting cooked over there. So, if I turn it like this, it'll start cooking over here. This is the first time I ever turned the pan like this. But this is the first time I ever cooked some egg foo young like this as well. So you can see how the shrimp are now turning opaque. Because they're getting done. It's going to be so fantastic. So, you know, as I showed you guys that Zatarin's shrimp oil, I wonder if I did the wrong thing because I never used to worry about showing well, There was a point in time where basically what I want to say is I saw this video that said that YouTubers are being sued. And I didn't watch the video yet, so I don't know if they being sued because they showing products or what. <laughs> so, maybe I shouldn't have showed you guys that Zatarin's or whatever. But, if any of the Lucky Stars know anything, if anything's new about showing products, then let me know. Because I don't want to be getting sued just because I'm showing products. Oh, yeah, it's getting done over there. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see that? Ooh, wee! It's going to be good. Oh, yeah. This might be a lot easier than, um, than cooking, cooking a few at a time. But I always say, I would say that I... I wanted to cook a few at a time so I could eat some now and save some later. But if I just slice it like a pie or a pizza or something, then I think I better turn this down a little bit. If I slice it like it's a pizza, then I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I think I'll do? I think at the end of the um at the end of the video, did y'all see that? Anyway, at the end of the video, I think I'll make a list of what I used for my ingredients today because I think this is going to be the best egg foo young ever ever ever. So I got all my um 
Oh, Lord knows I'm scared to turn this over. But one thing about it. If I make a big old mess, I don't have to show the video. And it's still going to be good. <laughs> well, how do you know it's going to be good, Yaki? I just know because what I put in there, it's going to be good. Ooh. Uh oh, I think it's sticking to the pan in the middle. Oh my goodness. I don't have to show you guys. This could just be between me, myself, and I. Ooh. And I can't Ooh, let that part cook a little bit more like that, I guess. Thank you, Jesus. I know you're going to make it good. But I hope it don't be too dark. Because, you know, presentation is everything. Especially if you... If you are going to... Oh, Lord, I don't know how to do this. Okay, I'm ready to turn it over. But is it ready to be turned over? How can I do this? Hmm. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, come on, Yaki. Yeah. It's gonna break. It's too big. It's gonna break. Oh, it's gonna break. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half like this. Shoot, I might get another pan. <laughs> I think I might get another pan and just put it in another pan. That's what I'm doing. This pan is too big. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Got this pan. <laughs> Hope it don't get too black over there. Don't burn up now. Don't burn up on me. Y'all not gonna be able to see the whole operation. I can't see what I'm doing, can you? Okay. Ah! <laughs> Did y'all see what happened? Body slammed it into this pan over here. That's what happened. Now, body slam this one.
Ooh, we. Did y'all see which which one this shrimp came out of? No, y'all can't see it. I think it came out of here. <laughs> okay, I think I do better with the uh, making mines in in portions. The big one is not working perfectly for me. Now watching. Bam. Well, at least it didn't stick in the middle. <laughs> well, all right. Test, test. Disco test. Okay, I'm not gonna make this at the uh <laughs> I'm not gonna make this at the brunch. <laughs> I'm just gonna make some regular eggs. <laughs> well maybe I'll just make make So we got that one, and we got that one. So I'm gonna have me some eggs for young for dinner, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on on next to my uh, my fajitas, my leftover fajitas. I might even have some rice. Ooh, it's gonna be good. That's all I know. Y'all want to see when I played it up? Or is this good enough for ya? Is that good enough for you? Is that good enough for you? Lucky stars. Slide those shrimps underneath the, underneath there. Slide you back in. You belong in the middle. As long as you get done. I'll eat you on the side. I don't mind having a side piece. <laughs> Shrimpy side pieces. As hmm, long as they get done. Get her done. Get her done. over there right there. Can you see them? And the ones, okay, I know you can see. Can you see that? Shrimp, 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 shrimp.